<laughs> what's going on it's kirk rich all right so the question that we're we're posing today do y'all think jake paul is a boxing plant now as a person who is, a, is an investor i'm not mad at it um i'm not mad at it here's why here is my wild theory on jake paul in, in boxing right um i think he is put in boxing to increase the market share of boxing in terms of the sports. Because when we think of the major sports, we don't think of boxing, right? We don't think of boxing, especially especially since after Floyd retired, you don't have people thinking, oh, boxing, da 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 Yeah, it does pay-per-view numbers, so on and so forth, but there was no household names, right? So I feel like Jake Paul has been placed in boxing to get the viewership up overall. Now, check it out. This is not me hating. I have no problem with Jake. I think this is a brilliant play in terms of marketing and investing. Here's why. Because let's say I do a, um, I have this burger, right? And, and I become really popular from eating burgers while I'm talking. I'm eating burgers while I'm talking, I'm eating burgers while I'm talking, right? And now, a whole bunch of content is emulating me and everybody's eating burgers, right? And then the real burger chefs, the people who are the burger connoisseurs come up and say, well, that burger that Kirk eats isn't even the best burger. He's smacking all over it and he's just that and the third. It isn't even the best. Y'all need to go check out this burger over here, right? And then more eyes are put on that burger over there, even though I don't I don't lose my audience. It's just like if you really, if you really like burgers, go check out this one over there. I think that's what's going on with Jake Paul and boxing. So I think in a way, he's actually doing the sport a service because it's bringing more awareness and it's getting more eyes on boxing. Because now you have these young fans; they may not know about a Floyd. You see what I'm saying? They they may not know about a De La Hoya. They may know. Mike Tyson from Hot Boxing, his podcast, you know what I'm saying? They they don't have that household name in terms of boxing. So you get a guy like a Jake Paul who has all these views, who has that young demographic. You put him in boxing and then guess what that does? Guess what that does? That makes people go, yeah, that Jake, Bo that Jake Paul stuff, that Jake Paul boxing is cool, but go check out these people over here. These are the real pros. These are the real. If you if you are finding interest in the sport, go check out such and such and such. And I'm starting to see that now. Like, for instance, um, Jake Paul knocked out Nate Diaz and uh, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford fought. And for the first time in my adulthood, I started to hear the tears in boxing, T-I-E-R-S. I started to hear the tears in boxing. I started to hear people say, oh, well, yeah, Tank, Tank and uh, Ryan Garcia, that was cool. But if you really know boxing, go check out the Spence and Crawford fight. That's the one that's really going to be big. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Ooh. Check out the Spence and Crawford fight. That's the one that's really going to be huge. All boxing fans know that that's the one. And it was like, well, we haven't heard that in boxing in a while. We haven't we haven't saw those tears. It's like we see it all the time in basketball. It's like okay, tonight you have um, tonight you have Ja Morant versus Trey Young. Cool matchup, right? Two All Stars, two All NBA caliber, two All NBA caliber type talents, right? That's cool. But at this ten o'clock game, we have the Lakers versus Suns, LeBron versus KD. That's the matchup right there. You see what I'm saying? Because there's so much depth in basketball, you're able to have tiers of stars and superstars that are still top draws. Like Job ja versus Trey, that would be prime. That would be prime time TV. But KD and LeBron, a whole nother level. So when you get these fans in, here's because I got to bring it back to investing, right? You get these fans in, you bring in, you get awareness. From a dip from the demographic that um Jake Paul, Logan Paul, that the Paul brothers have, and you get them introduced to boxing, and you get them introduced to boxing through this YouTube sensation that they already know, right? And then from there, hey, 
here's here's the oh you like the sport you see him you like the day in the life that he's doing oh here's the real stuff over here though so now you actually gain more boxing fans by putting this guy in there so it because like well, i want to say he's a boxing plant <laughs> he's a he's a plant in the boxing world not in the influencer world but in the boxing world and i think it's a it's a long-term good play for boxing right a lot of people who are boxing enthusiasts they hate it they don't like it oh he's over here da, 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 da. but in reality from a financial standpoint i feel like he's getting some of these guys who probably didn't get there just do in terms of like big pay some of them are getting their their biggest pay they fight him right taking old washed up fighters who are retired who are probably underpaid throughout their career he's bringing so many eyes to the fight right these guys are getting a big payday the fights aren't that long the fights i don't know if they go against their um overall career record or not but if it's like an exhibition fight getting paid a few million um sometimes i do feel like it's a little wwe i do feel like it's a it's a real life skit at times when i'm watching these fights with him and these uh these these old wash athletes i do feel like that i will be honest however i think overall is bringing um awareness to the sport uh, <laughs> is bringing awareness to the sport and people who are interested can now start to go see okay who the real who the real fighters are all right so let me know in the comments what you think do you think jake paul is a boxing plant is it good for the sport do you think this will allow boxers with the increased visibility to now start earning more money do you think boxing is becoming relevant again in terms of the major sports all right let me know what you think like comment subscribe share I really want to hear what you think about this one